Hey, it's Rodrigo Amador, and I got something pretty cool to share with you. Have you ever had a storyboard profile not open for you or files get corrupted? Well, it certainly happened to me, and let me tell you, I thought the file was a goner. A few weeks ago, when I was gathering materials for this YouTube channel, I thought to revisit the file for my short film Bacon Double Cheeseburgers, which I had neatly tucked away in the archives. I unpacked it using WinRAR, expecting everything to be smooth sailing, but when I opened the file in Storyboard Pro, well, that's when things went south. As worries started creeping in, I realized that this was the only clean version of the file I had. I mean, I had other versions, but they were for the roughs. I had carefully backed up the file, but there was one crucial step that I overlooked, which I will cover a little later on. In the midst of the chaos, I didn't even think to hit record, so I'll try my best to walk you through on how this went down. What initially appeared to be a perfectly functional file quickly transformed into a nightmare filled with errors. Errors? Seriously? Maybe something happened during the unpacking, so I'll try again. However, to my dismay, I got the same result. I didn't get it. Why was this happening? Hmm, something wasn't adding up. So I decided to try 7-zip to unpack the file and see if that gave me a better result. But again, the outcome was identical once I opened the file in Storyboard Pro. Then I opened the Elements folder to see if the TVG files were still there. And to my surprise, they were. It was weird. Then I looked back in Storyboard Pro. I could see the thumbnail drawings clearly, but as soon as I advanced to the next panel, an error message popped up reading, Unable to read drawing. I mean, this really had me scratching my head, like, how did this happen? I hit up Google and YouTube, searching for solutions to fix corrupted Storyboard profiles, but came up empty-handed. Then I had the dreaded thought of, I'm probably gonna have to redraw this. I also thought about contacting Toon Boom support, but it was pretty late in the day and I needed to get some rest. The next morning rolled around, and the issue was still nagging at me. As I sipped my coffee, a fleeting thought came through my head. What if I open the Storyboard's element folder as a library item, and drag each file onto the stage? I got right to it and opened the Elements folder as a library, eagerly waiting for a good outcome. I clicked on the TVG file and dragged it over to the stage, but... Nope. Well, that didn't work. Time to contact Toon Boom support. But just before starting my message, my eyes wandered over to the Harmony icon on my desktop. I had recently downloaded Harmony 22 to check out the new features. Then I had another fleeting thought. What if I open up the Element folder in Harmony and drag each missing file onto the no view? I hesitated for a second, but then I shrugged it off with a, nah, it probably won't work. Then I went back to the browser to start drafting my message, but my pesky curiosity got the best of me. And I said, ah, what the heck. So I opened Harmony 22 and created a temp scene. Next, I opened up the elements folder as a library. Then I proceeded to drag one of the TVG drawings onto the node view and a big juicy nothing. I was like, huh, that's strange. Then I thought, what if I drag this onto the stage instead? So I grabbed the drawing file, dropped it onto the stage, and... The drawing popped up. All intact! I zoomed in, checked out the drawing strokes, no degradations or defects. Well, this is promising. Then I thought, how am I going to get this back into Storyboard Pro? So I had both Harmony and Storyboard Pro open side by side on my screen. Then I set up a recovery folder in Harmony, making it accessible as a library. Once that was sorted, I simply dragged a drawing from the timeline into the open library and lo and behold, a TPL magically appeared. After that, I opened the freshly minted recovery folder as a library in Storyboard Pro. And wouldn't you know it, the new TPL was right there waiting for me. With bated breath, I grabbed it and dropped it into the Storyboard Pro stage and... Voila! The drawing showed up as a layer. Well, look at that. Did I get this to work? Huh, let's try another one. I repeated the same steps as before, dragging the TVG from the storyboard folder onto the Harmony stage. And once again, it worked. Then I thought, does this mean that I have to do this for all the missing drawings? Yep, that's what I had to do. So I navigated through what seemed like an endless amount of panels and folders to reroute the drawings back into Storyboard Pro. And after a few tense hours, I managed to recover all the missing drawings. Yes. Oh, and the thing I told you I forgot to do at the beginning of the video? I saved my storyboard as a project file instead of a pack file. I'm sure there's a good use for it, but I highly recommend saving your storyboards as packed files instead. 
If you save as the latter, you're essentially left with a number of folders and subfolders that are similar to Harmony files. And one of the biggest drawbacks is the slow transmission rate of the TVG files residing within those folders. A packed file, on the other hand, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a container holding all the itty bitty files and subfolders neatly wrapped into one easy to transfer file. I don't know if this contributed to all the issues and why the drawings weren't showing up, but why take a chance? In hindsight, I wish I had opted for the pack file from the start. It could have potentially saved me hours in frustration and troubleshooting. But then again, I wouldn't have learned this. Reflecting on this experience, I'm very grateful with the outcome. Plus, I didn't have to redraw all those missing panels, which was a bonus. Oh, and if you're really stuck, you can always reach Toombum support. They'll be happy to lend you a hand. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you like more content like this one, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for upcoming goodies. Until next time, stay creative and keep pushing those boundaries. See you soon!